Hey everybody, how you doing? Will here and real quick before the video begins, I just want to give a huge thanks to my Patreons for all their faithful giving. It has been a challenging and hard time with the coronavirus and all the lockdowns and you guys have been amazing helping support Will Brown Art, the mission and the vision to transform and inspire the world in and through the arts. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I also want to extend an invitation to each and every one of you watching this video to check out the link in the description below to my Patreon account and consider partnering with me as well. It really does help open up all the doors with all the little expenses for me to go out and shoot this content and to create more art. So thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Hey, check this out. Beautiful little viewpoint. So much energy. Look at that. <laughs> I took a rice and cute as a button, bro. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back, an otter, too. We are about to go on an amazing adventure. We're going to Orcas Island in Washington, and it is a beautiful, healing, amazing place. Right now, there's a horrible heat wave in Seattle, and I know for other places like California and some other places with hotter climates, you guys are probably like, that's nothing. But for us in Seattle, it's a lot. We got a heat wave that's 100 plus, 108 and to 14, I've heard reported in certain areas around here. Uh, but either way, it's gonna be really hot, and it's getting hot, so I wanna get out of here and go do some car camping. I'm gonna vlog this whole adventure for you. It's probably gonna be a good three to four days of car camping and vlogging. So we're gonna just break it into little segments. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can see all the new videos that are gonna be coming out uh, of this Orcas Island series. Uh, I got the van set up for car camping, like I said, so I'm gonna show you guys real fast what we're working with, what that looks like, and how I do this car camping. All right. All right, you guys, here is my Kia and it's a small little van but it gets the job done in here we got otter's little nest and there's a treat bone in there and he's just chilling like let's get out of this heat got a whole bunch of stuff up here you guys uh coming around to the back we've got some waters but to stock up on a few more waters here got some tripods machete i uh, got a seat down in here some nunchucks and stuff as well over here got a food box and this is like an art box slash miscellaneous stuff i got my katana boy silky saw uh, link in the description below if you want to check out that saw. It's an amazing adventurer saw. Um, I want to get a better one of these, but I don't have it right now. So I just brought my jump box. So that's going to be kind of my power supply at the moment. And uh, those are pretty fun. Those are pretty cool. Um, got a skateboard tripod, a uh, whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff over here. Got some of like, Otter's dog food and some more food. Got some got some uh cooking supplies and all that got an emergency toilet here it's just a simple bucket system and that's gonna work i uh, got a backpack and up here i have a few of these uh hangers and clips where i can put a um, black sheet over here creating some privacy that's what that is right there and kind of blocking it out at night if i need to park in a specific area where i don't have a lot of privacy uh coming around to the back this is my kitchen right so <laughs> Uh, this is trash, by the way. I gotta wait, gotta stay working out. And this is where I'm sleeping. So right here's the cooler and I got all my food in here, as you can see. Real simple, nothing super complex, but it gets the job done for some good footage. Uh, got some hula hoops right there, you gotta have those. And up here, I have a bunch of my blankets and clothes and coats and all of those things stored away up top. And that's gonna be good uh, just to kind of keep stuff a little bit more organized and keep the flow of movement a little bit easier as I cook and do everything in here. So this is the car, you guys, this is the van. We're set, we're ready to go. It's about to be an amazing adventure. Thanks so much for joining us. We're about to stock up on some more food, head to the ferry and get you some content and some footage of the ferry boat ride over to Orcas Island, which is beautiful as well. All right, so we're on I-5 headed to Anacortes and this heat wave is striking man it's warm and I don't have my AC recharged and there was just a horrible accident so we're just stuck in traffic right now and it's such a bummer so I'm like, get me out of here but uh, it's all good you guys we're gonna push through hopefully we'll pick up a little bit here and get past this accident and get to that ferry boat all right so we're 
we're finally coming up on this accident. I hope everybody's okay. Let's just see what happened here, what was holding us back so long. Oh yeah, looks like someone drove off the road. A tiny little Kia. All right. Well, I hope they're okay. Accidents happen. So just waiting in line right now. It's like two hours or so uh, for this ferry boat. Should have scheduled ahead of time a little bit better, but it is what it is. At least it's a lot cooler right now in Anacortes. <clears throat> Taking Otter for a little bit of a walk, looking at the beach here, really nice, very beautiful day, you guys. Super excited about this. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Otter and I are exploring this little beach area next to the ferry terminal. He's having a great time. It's actually kind of cool out here. Like a little nature walk. I like it. So right up there is where all the cars at. A whole bunch of cattails here. Boy. Boy, look at this. This is kind of cool. I like this. Look at these cattails. Look at that. Sweet, huh? Come on, buddy. Let's go. magical little walk. I actually really like this. This is cool. They dried out. I think it was like thistles or something. They're all dried out. I'll show you. Comment below if you know what those are. I don't know. Oh, here's some that, uh, here's some that aren't dried yet. Tell me what this plant is, you guys. I want to know. It looks prehistoric. Kind of looks like an apple tree right here, too. Yeah, it is, huh? Come on, Otter. Good boy. Cool little apple tree just hanging out here. I like it. Okay, so we've walked down here a little bit more and this is what I'm excited about. This is super artistic. Look at this, wow. Look at these rocks. It kind of smells bad out here though. It smells like old, dead, rotting seafood. Oh, whew, super strong. But this is so cool. Just, just have that hold you, Otter. Wow. Cool is this, you guys? I love this. Okay, what kind of rock is this? I don't know if I should be afraid to even stand next to it. I don't know if this is rock. Looks like it's sweating, stinking. Kind of weird, huh? Let's just see real fast. tide was out more I'd like to come over here and do like a flow video on this climb up on that but I don't want to get all the stinky stuff all over my shoes I'm car camping I don't want that on my clothes inside of the, the van so I might just do something on top of here
All right, guys, it looks like the ferry's here. Everybody's starting to load. It's been a while of the hot sun, but the beach was fun, so that's good. And, and I'm excited to get on the ferry and get over to the island and explore a little bit. Also, I think we might go to Turtleback Mountain and hike that, maybe watch the sunset from up top. That might be really cool to do tonight. You talking? Oh, you sick of this? You sick of this? You wanna get out of here? Cute as a button, bro. Otter's done with it, you guys. He's ready to go rage on a mountain. Good boy. We are on the ferry, so I'm gonna get you some shots from the top of the ferry, walk around, you know, see the observation deck area and have some fun, so let's go. May we have your attention please. The Washington State Ferries is committed to your health and safety. In addition to routinely cleaning our ferries and terminals and working with health officials, to help slow the spread of COVID-19. We want to remind you that face coverings are mandatory in all public in all Washington State ferries and facilities. We ask that you do your part. Please maintain a social distance of at least six feet between yourself and other passengers. Those of you who have driven onto the ferry, we are requesting that if you are able, please remain in your vehicle for the duration of the sailing. These and other precautions like frequently washing your hands and covering your mouth for coughs and sneezes. Staying home. I'm going to travel and I'm going to travel. Feeling ill. We'll go a long way to stop
the boat, you guys. Pretty cool, actually. Look at that. See if I can get you guys a quick little shot of us pulling in. Right over there, you guys. So this is what it looks like when you first get off the ferry boat. 
on Orcas Island. I'm gonna come up here and find some parking and then we're gonna look around this little Orcas village area, as you can see right there in that sign. And just kind of check it out a little bit. Looks like we got an inn off to the right and a cafe here, but some little restaurants and bars and stuff. So let's see, let's see if we can even find parking here. So as you can see, there's a sign right up here. Let me get you a better shot. Sign right there, it says 72 hour parking. And this is where you line up to get back on the ferry. So that's really good for car camping because that means you can spend the night here and you're not gonna have any issues. And there's a bathroom off to the right right here as well. Okay, so here is where we're parked, as you can see. Nice little spot. Um, there is some trees here, which do provide some shade, which are great. And then right over here are some bathrooms, which is amazing. And yes, it's true, I've been here once before. And uh, yeah, so that's why I kind of am slightly familiar with this area. On this vlog adventure, we're gonna go to a few different areas that I haven't been at all. Um, I came here just shortly, a few months ago, and played around a little bit, had some fun, um, and it's a magical place. So I'm excited to show it to you guys. So, yeah, so of course there's the ferry, there's a little town down here, there's a little shop there, uh, and I'm going to kind of walk you guys through, let you check it out real fast. But great place for car camping because it is so close to garbage, dumpsters, bathrooms that, as far as I know, stay open all night. That's what I'm looking for. So coming out of the bathroom, there is a nice little park area, with some benches, which is really great because that means you can kind of just chill here and have a picnic or something. So we are headed down these stairs and as you can see, they're still unloading the ferry we came off of. So let me show you quickly around this little town. I don't even want to call it a town, it's so damn small. Just a little pocket of buildings. But right here we have the Orcas Village store. I've been in there before. They got some good stuff, some decent stuff for a little store. Just food, miscellaneous items like that. It's another bathroom right down here. It's bright, a lot of sun. Okay, and so when you first come in, there's the Orcas Hotel. Never stayed here, but I have gone up to the coffee shop right over here and just like had a coffee or a tea and used their uh, power to recharge some of my equipment in the past. And it, they were nice people. So there's a little hotel here, really cool. I like how everything's red and white and it says Orcas everywhere. Got some uh, docks and some little rocks, little lounging areas just to look over the over the water. Cross the street real fast. So here's the Orcas Hotel right here. on the side as you can see beautiful view that goes over the water here and watches the ferries come in and out at night 
Damn, we got some flowers. Check them out, guys. Nice. Looks like we got a, it says a cottage gift shop right there. So if you're looking to get a souvenir from Orcas Island, I think that's the spot to check out. So it looks like we got a little bar here. Cider Works Boathouse. Nice. Cool. Never been there. Can't give any advice on whether that's a good place or not. But I will show you guys up here how this whole system works. So people leaving Orcas come through here. Line up here and uh, load onto the ferry once it's emptied. And this is where we're parked right here. So I want to give you that quick overview because if you're a van camper, car camper, and you're looking for a good place just to crash out, as you can see, you got a, you got a, a bathroom, you got a grocery store, you got little gift shops and different things to entertain you, pass your time, and it's all kind of crammed together right here. And it all works. It works well. So, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the spot for van camping, for car camping. So we're going to get to Turtleback Mountain and begin this adventure. So I'm going to take off. Let's go. Let's do this, guys. I think I need some coffee, though. I'm getting a little bit sleepy, a little bit hungry. Maybe I'll make some food when we get there. It is a pretty little island, though, as you just drive around here. It's really nice. I just drove by a really nice little orchard. It's really beautiful. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna head out to Turtleback Mountain right now. And look at this, really gorgeous, huh? Deer Harbor Road and the views are just beautiful you guys we're almost to Turtleback Mountain here but just the drive along the mountain here to the little trailhead is gorgeous I really like it look at this I love to see like the light shooting through the trees and like just gorgeous beautiful over here you got the water otter just hanging his head out the window <laughs> are you happy monster are you happy Good boy. Let's see what's around this corner here. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Such a magical little one. Right, so before we go up Turtleback Mountain, I want to quickly just chef together some food to eat at the top. So I went through my kitchen and went to the store and just bought a bunch of random stuff. Didn't really meal plan, but uh, what I'm going to do right now is make like a variation on some kind of um, sushi bowl kind of thing where I took rice. Here, let me show you over here. I took rice and um, added a bunch of uh, leftover vegetables, had like some greens that I got at the Asian market and some frozen vegetables that were in my freezer. Put it all together with a whole bunch of spices and soy sauce and uh, curry and those kind of things. And then I'm just gonna cook this. I actually wanna turn this down a little bit. And I'm gonna cook the rice and the vegetables all together to save propane. And that's gonna be beautiful and wonderful. And then I'll probably put that in here. Uh, maybe put it on top of some greens a little bit with some tofu and some avocado and some hoisin sauce. And like I said, I have the soy sauce. I have some of the chili oil and I have seaweed to sprinkle on top. So we're gonna make these little sushi bowl kind of thing. And I have the, the white rice vinegar, the, or the rice vinegar. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put it all together. I'll show you guys what we're working with at the end. All right, you guys, so it's done. And I just threw the tofu on top there. And if you're not a tofu 
eater, that's fine. I'm not tripping. Uh, but it's a great little protein source that's cheap and affordable and it works for me. So anyways, as you can see, all the rice is all cooked. All the vegetables are cooked in there too. I got some greens inside of here. So I'm just going to kind of like cover the greens and all this rice curry style goodness. And it tastes good. I've tasted it. But it does need a little bit more salt. So I'm going to hit it with some more soy sauce. We're just going to kind of cover it up like that. I'll probably hit it with like a little bit of soy sauce here too much maybe a little bit of this hot oil and maybe just a tap <clears throat> of that and then let's like grab some of the red onion put it on here we also have a bunch of avocado which is bomb i love avocado right and some cucumber some cucumber in there some more of this and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I actually might add some hummus so I'll probably add a little bit of hummus to that then I'll take some of the seaweed and I'll just break it all up and sprinkle it on top then I'm gonna pack this up to the top of the mountain and relax and eat this meal it's a beautiful meal at the top so all right that's my meal that's my little throw together hope you guys like it all right, so that's kind of how that looks. So fancy. <laughs> nah, I'm playing you guys, but it's bomb. It's healthy. It's good. It's quick. It's easy. Doesn't take too much propane. Gets the job done. And it's actually pretty delicious. So having fun with it. All right, all you wonderful people. We are currently at the beginning of the Turtleback Mountain Hike trail and i have been on this before and i know how beautiful and gorgeous it is so i'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys got the backpack all packed got food ready otters pumped just uh wet him down with a bunch of water too because it is quite warm out here and uh <laughs> and so we're just going to traverse this terrain get up to the top and show you the view it's going to be beautiful let's go Oh, check it out, you guys. See these vines right here that are growing? I see like one dead one here and then some over there. Let's go take a look at those real fast. All right, guys, check out this cool ass vine growing up this tree. Super sweet, huh? I don't know, maybe maybe not to you, but to me, I love these things. And I used to have a buddy and by his house, there was this giant cliff and tons of these vines growing um, all around it. And we would be able to cut them off and literally they were so strong and so thick that we could run and jump and hold on to these vines and just swing way out over this big old cliff off in the forest. It was so fun and I've had some really cool memories with them. So once again, if you know what this is, this type of vine, let me know in the comments below because it holds a lot of really cool childhood memories of just playing out in the woods with these vines and swinging over big old gorges. I love it. All right, that's a good memory. Let's keep going, guys.
You guys, check this out. This is so cool. I was just out here and I was trying to identify what this is right here. And I don't know this one either. I just, <laughs> I don't have all the plant knowledge today, okay, you guys? But it has some kind of squash or like a gourd or something on here. I don't know what that is, man, but it looks really cool. So if you know, let me know. Because that thing is unique. There's a bunch of it growing out here. I don't know if someone planted it or what, but it's all over the place. Really cool, huh? All right, pushing forward, almost out of these trees, and we're about to get to those views, those beautiful views. I'm so excited for. So the trees are thinning out at this point and it's really extraordinary to look at. Uh, something that I am seeing over here is like this really magnificent tree and it's kind of hidden behind all this. It's hard to see right now, but I think we're gonna go over there and check that out real fast and show you guys that because it looks just like an old, old like oak or something like that, but it looks almost like a bonsai, super artistic. So let's just go investigate that. Then we'll get back on the trail and get to the top and show you guys the rest. So let's go. Come on, Otter. There it is. Let's go look at it some more. Come on, Melon. Come here, baby. Such beauty to this tree, you guys. So much energy, look at that. It's just been weathered over time. I love the branches, how they're curved. And it reminds me of like an old, like, bonsai. Gorgeous, gorgeous tree. Hey, check this out. Beautiful little viewpoint. Gorgeous. Little seat to sit at. Really nice trees. Here we go, set Otter down. I love this spot. So healing, so gorgeous. Turtleback Mountain, Orcas Island, come here. Maybe not when it's like a, a crazy hot heat wave that's going through Washington, but still come here and check it out. It's worth it, you'll love it. Okay guys, so we almost made it up to the top. The top's right there, it's beautiful. I highly suggest you guys come and check it out. But there is a heat wave going on and Otter is just exhausted right now. He's just acting like he's just out of it. He wants to be carried. So because Otter always comes first in his safety and his health, um, I wet him down and cooled him down with some like lukewarm water here. Um, but I'm gonna carry him back and we're gonna get him to some shade and just allow him to, to get, um, get cool and relaxed, okay buddy? So uh, sadly, we're not going to be able to get to the top here, but once again, Otter always comes first and he's just acting super exhausted and out of it. So I'm going to see if we can't cool the little guy down and uh, give him some rest. And uh, so we're going to go find a good place to camp in the car tonight. And yeah, 
so it'll be okay. But beautiful area, beautiful place. I got to show you some of the views here up top. is extraordinary though. Definitely come check it out. Turtleback Mountain, Orcas Island, worth the, worth the trip. Okay guys, so Otter, he's doing a lot better. I took him down to a stream um, and the stream was kind of like dried up, but there was little pockets of water and the water was really cool and the, uh, the rocks were really cool. So we just camped out there for a little bit and allowed him to cool down. Um, a lot of flies, a lot of mosquitoes there. But uh, so he's feeling a lot better now, but because he did overheat a little bit and I could tell it he was struggling a little bit. He was just trying to walk down the hill. He was just kind of done. I want to be extra careful. And instead of camping at that spot that I was showing you guys earlier, I'm going to go to a different one that I know it's out here that uh, has a lake that we might be able to dip into a little bit. And there's a lot of trees around it, so the ground hasn't been baked as much, and it's not gonna release so much heat overnight, and it's gonna keep him and me a lot cooler for um, for just recouping and recovering after this uh, extreme heat wave. So extreme. No, but we've been hiking and in it all day long traveling, so I do wanna just make sure he bounces back. He's got a big fur coat on. So we're gonna go to that spot instead. I'll show you guys that. Alright guys, since the sun is going down, I'm kind of just racing to this spot to kind of get set up for the night and just get nice and cool. Uh, but we went through, I think it's called East Sound, it's like the main town of uh, Orcas Island. And I'll try to get you some footage of that, possibly tomorrow. But right now we're going to, I think it's called the Moran, Moran, Moran State Park, if my memory serves me. See, there's a lot of trees creating a lot of shade so it should be a lot cooler here there's a little river there some bathrooms right over here i'm gonna park by the lake because we might want to dip into there real fast and maybe these other bathrooms are open too Okay, yeah, we got people swimming right now and everything. Interesting. Okay, this is 15 minute parking, so I gotta, I gotta move here. All right guys, so we're out here and I am showering with this tiny pot, a rag, and some soap. So, <laughs> just boiling some water here or warming it up and then I'm gonna take it into the, into the bathrooms over here where it's designed for swimmers and stuff as a drain and everything. And I'm just gonna do like a little, like a sponge bath basically. Um, yeah, it works great. And it just helps you feel fresh. Just jumped into the lake over there. It feels super, super cool down, really nice out here. And then I'm uh, gonna set up for bed and relax and go to bed. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so what happened is that Otter and I were trying to get all set up for camping in that area and the state park ranger guy came through and was like, hey, you guys can't stay here and I don't have any more spots, you know. And when I was here last time, it was kind of during like COVID season, so there was no park ranger and stuff. And so I stayed there before and it, was, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, so the Moran State Park, you guys, you can't just car camp there, but you can get camping spots. So what did we do? We came back to the 72 hour parking next to the bathrooms, next to the ferry. So we're just gonna set up for bed right now and crash out. We're both exhausted, super tired, and it's been a long day. So we're gonna see you in the morning and uh, yeah. Nothing really here, nothing really to see here other than me setting up blankets and laying down and sleeping. So, night, you guys.